And if you're new, mm, cut. Oh, this is it. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Bria. I'm all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and nursing. Yes, I'm a jack of all trades, honey. So if you read by the title, you see that we did this beat. Light, glam, but gorgeous beat, okay? I'm trying out some stuff I just had bought. Some of them are new to me. You know, some things that I just bought again that I have already used. Um, so yes, and this is what we came up with, okay? I think I look damn good if you ask me. Mm. Yes. If you want to see how I came up with this look, then make sure you keep watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. Because if you're not, then what is you doing? What is you doing, honey? What is you doing? Make sure you subscribe. Because, baby, it's gonna get lit over here. I'm keeping these videos coming. Enough of that, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start on my eyebrows first. Cause I'm an eyebrows first type of girl. Okay, so today I went by old Twitcher and I went and spent a lot of money on some stuff. So we're using some new stuff today, okay? Like I said in the last video, my eyebrows was not waxed or arched today. They're not even really. Lady went over them, but it don't really look arch to me like how it normally look if i would have went to my normal person i tried somebody new today yes okay so today we are using if you see me looking over here i have a monitor showing me what's showing up on here and then of course you know i got my little mirror down here today we are using precisely my brow pencil don't know if you can see that but if you can there you go i used this once before and i liked it I had like a really small version so like you know This video ain't gonna be like my last one. We not gonna do like no tutorial type of thing. I'm just gonna talk to y'all while I do my makeup. And of course, I'll tell y'all where I got my stuff from. And I'll put it down below like I did my last video. So y'all, today was has been a horrible day. I called myself filming a video this morning, day in the life of a nurse. And I cut my hand. This video might be a little crazy because I can't really use this hand like this, if you can see. So we're gonna do as good as we can, okay? And I already washed my face and moisturized my face off camera, of course. If y'all would like an in-depth eyebrow tutorial, I will, I will do that for y'all. Okay. My eyebrows will never be twins, honey. They're always cousins. Sometimes they're sisters, but you know, majority of the time they're cousins. Mm -hmm. And of course, I am using CoverGirl and Cappuccino. Y'all wanna know something? I have been like really, really falling in love with myself more and more. That's no joke. And once you feel like can't nobody love you how you love you, you'll see the world so much different, I'm telling you. You won't even let nobody play with you like that. Once you see your works, and I'm not talking about looks, just looks and stuff. No, I'm not talking about like that. Like how good of a person you are. Like goal and the type of goals you have, like the type of person like you plan to be like your mindset once you see how good and how you got that down pat you you won't let nobody play with you but you gotta know yourself for because if you don't they're gonna run all over you 
anybody. I'm talking about relationships, friendships, family, cousins, however, they're going to play with you like that. And you need to know if you're too good of a person, you ain't on that type of stuff. You ain't in no drama. You're not in none of that. Don't let nobody play you like that. And that's that. Don't let nobody play you like you average, honey. And if you don't think that you're worth it, and if you think that you're average, you got to reevaluate. And that's that. You got to feel like the baddest, the baddest person. Some people may say it's cocky. I don't think that's what it is. Nope. I think it's just knowing your worth. Not letting nobody play with you like that. You know, you can be like really sweet. <laughs> you can be like this really sweet person and people will use that. Like, I don't understand. Like, why would you want to fuck that up? You got a good person in your life. You got somebody that's loyal that'll do anything for you that's very sweet you got that but guess what they mess it up always and i really never like understood that when you got somebody like that in your life like a, a genuine person that actually give a fuck you hold on to them people you treat them people like gold you hold on to them and treat them like a trophy like that's mine. I don't want nobody getting close to that. I don't want nobody taking that. That's how you got to act when you got somebody like that. You know, people will be jealous of you because you got that mentality that you know that you everything. People will be jealous of you. And you can have nothing. They can have more than you. And they will be jealous of you just because you got that mindset. I think that's the sickest thing in the world. The sickest. I never understood how females can hate on other females anyways. I never, I never understood that. Like that's about the most weirdest shit if you ask me. You're supposed to uplift, but no, females be hating. If it's something that somebody got and you want it, go get it. I never understood the whole hating thing. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Alrighty, so now I'm going to prime my eyelids. So today we're going to be fancy today. We're going to do some eyeshadow okay so we finna prime these eyelids honey yes i guess i use my born this way multi multi-use sculpting concealer and mocha y'all i cut my hand so i can use it but barely so as you see i'm prime my eyelids and now i'm finna to buff it out once i can find stuff to buff it with honey I'm just using a regular brush. But yeah, like I was saying, know y'all worth. Don't let nobody play you like you average. You got to know you that in a bag of chips, honey. And once your confidence is through the roof like that, no matter how you look, how your hair look today, you got you you got confidence. People look over that. That's what people really be be mad and hating about. You got confidence. They'll literally hate you for that. Talk down on you so they can bring down your character to other people because they see people like you. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking over there instead of y'all. But I really don't care. It just bothers me when, like, you really fuck with somebody or whatever. Genuinely care about they, about y'all friendship or y'all relationship. However, whatever relationship y'all got. But when you really, like, care about it or whatever, then that's when it bothers you. Because people have played a part and you will never know. Got this fluffy brush and I'm just doing it right above my crease. I think I mean you can go up to the brow line like that, but just make sure you blend, blend, blend.
got this the warrior by juvia's palette if i can see it and it is a dark color in there this is the dark shade and it is mino right here i want to see it just put that right here kind of and then so you put that in your crease People don't really support you like that, especially where you're from. They don't really support you like that. You feel what I'm saying? You have a lot. I mean, you do. You have a selected few, but you would think you would have more because of how much people you know from your area, how much people you talk to. They don't really support you like that. And from, you know, I really don't care. Like I said, I don't. But that's just something to think about, like when you're making videos. Or when you, whatever you're doing, whatever you decide to do in your life, whatever, like, you know, career path you decide to take, people might not support you. People might not, you know, comment on it. You probably be looking for certain individuals to say something about it and they don't, but don't let that stop you from doing what you gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna take the brush that I blended out my concealer with when I put it on there as a base. I'm gonna use that same brush to go over my eye, you know, in the corner to like halfway with that same concealer brush to lighten it up to kind of get rid of that shadow and then I'm gonna put another color on top of it. So then now I got this flat brush. Don't know where I got this from. I own beauty. So I like to wet it, but I'm going to use my NYX setting spray. Because when you wet it and you apply your shadow, it comes on beautifully. Because it's like, it makes it so pigmented on your eyes. I'm using Osi, Ahasi, in the Juvia's Place palette again. But I'm using this light color right here to go right where I put that concealer. What I did to this eye, I did to that eye. So now after that is done, now I'm gonna go on to the face. I am using Hangover Good To Go, just like I did last time for primer. And one thing about primer, I know I said this wasn't gonna be like no tutorial, but when you're trying to find the right primer, you know, always do your research on what the primer is good for. You got oily skin if you got dry skin. Always make sure. And to know if you got oily or dry skin, wash your face. Don't put no moisturizer or nothing on it. And wait about 30 minutes and see if it's dry or if it gets oily. That's what you got, dry or oily skin. And if you got dry spots with oily, you know, certain spots oily, like how I am, then you got combination skin. So you just got to make sure you find good primer that fit your type of skin. You know, cause then that makes a big difference. You don't want to use something, like if you got dry skin, you don't want to use something for dry, for oily skin. You feel what I'm saying? To dry out that oil, you don't want to use that on dry skin. Cause if you do, baby, you're going to be looking cakey. You're going to be looking real dry in the face, dry faced it, and you don't want that. So always, always. And if you don't know, don't even use a primer. Always make sure you know which primer you're using. Cause I didn't use primer for a while. Of course my fit make um uh, my makeup wasn't the best, but I didn't use primer for a while. So but I know like you don't want to go bad with primer. You don't want to do that. Now I'm gonna go in with that cover girl in cappuccino. I'm gonna go and put that and I'm gonna cover up these designer eggs. Okay. You gonna cover them up. You wanna know something? I was talking to a girl and she was saying how she gives her boyfriend 
hall passes. And I'm like, what is hall passes, girl? She was just like, basically when he goes out somewhere, you know, far away, like if you're going on a trip, he's going to Jamaica, he's going to Mexico, he's going wherever. She give him a hall pass to let him do what he want to do. He can hunch who he want to hunch. You feel what I'm saying? He can do what he want to do just for that time being. And you know something? I could never. Mm-mm. I could never, and this is a real technique sponge. I could never. I am too stingy with what's mine, honey. Uh-uh. I be done told your ass, yeah, of course, babe, you can do what you want to do. And then when I think about your ass doing what the fuck you want to do, you're going to see me coming in. <laughs> I'm catching the next flight. <laughs> and just like that, the dumb designer bags is gone, honey. <laughs> just like that. Cause I'm not doing that on my trip. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going on a trip without my man. I'm not doing that. Maybe I'm just different. Now, y'all, I bought this Morphe. Like, I just love that. I bought this Morphe brush. And I'm going to see how this works. This is a new one. I just got it from Oats. I told y'all I wanted to spend a, a million dollars in that, so. Oh, I like this brush. So now for concealer. And I'm still using the knits. And excuse the how, because I did this myself. Now it's time to blend. Like areas, you can always, like I said, always use that foundation brush to get rid of those harsh lines. The brush alright. It's not big enough, so it's not really doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna go in with my real techniques one, the other one, and I'm gonna try to like blend it better. I'm gonna start with my Laura Mercy A, and this one is in translucent medium deep. Always go with the translucent honey on top to conceal my nose a little bit better.
be a beginner. Makeup can be expensive. So now I'm going to use my contour stick and I'm going to use the powder to go over the cream contour that I use. Because you really want to set all, anything that's creamy on your face, you want to set it. Add a little bit of powder up under. For this, I don't let it sit because if you let this sit, it will be so harsh on your face. But that's just to cut out your contour, as you can see. You can always go back in with whatever you whatever you're lacking, whatever you got covered up. So I'm gonna wipe away this. As you can see, I'm trying to rush because <laughs> I don't want my camera to die. I want to get as much done as possible. Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. Oh, that I just got it. So I don't know how it works, but let's see. Told you I like to spray a lot. Just press it in. Oh, look, that's what's so good. We are going to do blush. I just love blush. We are going to do highlighter. I feel like my camera is going to stop. And I'm going to cry. That right there going to make me cry all night. Ooh. And this is Milani's Stella Light Palette. I like palette. I'm gonna spray it again. I don't know why I keep picking up this morphine. So then I bought MAC Chestnut Lip Liner Pencil. I'm gonna line the lips. Oh, I love it, honey. I love this dark color. Mm-hmm. And this is Knits Butter Gloss and Chestnut. Oh, that combination is gore. Jizz, honey. Wow. Okay, this time I'm gonna spray with Morphe. One last time. And then, I'll be back. Glamorous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna let my phone charge, I'm gonna do my makeup, I mean my hair, put my hair down, and then I'll be back. Cause we gonna go and show you this finished look. Cause I think it looks like my B, if you ask me. So you guys, I am back and this is the final beat, period, okay? I think it came out good. The process was a little iffy. I was a little iffy about how it was gonna come out, but it looked good, okay? And on this monitor, I look like motherfucking money, okay? That's it, that's all I gotta say. That's it, that's all. <laughs> Left the video 
what I did was, of course I did my hair, I let my little bun buns out, I wet it, put some product on it to make it curly. First, I went over my eyebrows again because I feel like once you start doing the eyeshadow, sometimes you can miss like that, you know, where you concealed your eyebrows. So I went over that, the top and the bottom, and then I, you know, blended it a little bit more once I got into the big mirror. I put on mascara and I applied my lashes. And then after that, that's it. I put some at the bottom and then I did some eyeliner at the bottom. So yes, every time I do my makeup, y'all, I be feeling like the baddest bitch, I do. I be feeling like I can't be touched. So yes. And make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. All three, like, comment, subscribe. If you already subscribe, thank you, but make sure you like and you comment, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you please to do with this video, but just know this channel finna be lit. So y'all get into it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because there will be some more. It'll be more of me. Yeah, it will be more of me. Off my last video, so many people were saying how they like looking at the video because it gave them some pointers. You know, it was definitely beginner friendly because I'm a beginner. Um, so hopefully, you know, you guys learned something out of this too. And if you got any suggestions of what you would like for me to film, things you would like for me to do, then make sure you comment them down below. And that's it.